Cassava Sciences presents an excellent risk-reward ratio to investors considering the massive potential gains to be made upon the successful launch of an Alzheimer's drug, Simufilum. There are around 6.5 million people in the United States affected by Alzheimer's disease. The number is expected to double by the year 2050, bringing the total to 13 million. Presently, there is no effective treatment for the disease in the market. Therefore, Cassava Sciences has a vast potential market for their drug. On January 24, the company released highly anticipated results of its open-label study of 200 patients. Alzheimer's Disease Assessment Scale, Cognitive, popularly known in its short form as ADASCOG is one of the most important scales to measure the progression of disease. As the disease progresses, ADASCOG score of the patient rises which means the damage to brain is increasing. According to results of the study, ADASCOG mean scores changed minimally over one year in patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease treated with open-label semufilum tablets. 47% of patients improved on ADASCOG over one year, and this group improved by 4.7 points. An additional 23% of patients declined less than 5 points on ADASCOG over one year, and this group declined by 2.5 points. ADASCOG scores that change minimally or improve over one year is a highly desirable outcome in a clinical study of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Efficacy outcomes were analyzed by an independent, outside biostatistical consulting firm led by Suzanne Hendricks, PhD, the data for Simufilum are noteworthy, said Ms. Suzanne. The improvement in ADASCOG over one year in mild patients taking Simufilum is well outside the expected range of historic placebo decline rates from numerous other studies. From the overall data, we can conclude that out of 200 patients, 47% patients actually reversed the disease. Their brain actually improved from what it was a year ago. Now, this is a very significant achievement. An additional 23% patients experienced slowdown in their progression of disease. They experienced almost 50% slowdown in one year as compared to those who do not take any medication. For the remaining 30% patients, simufilum did not have any positive effect as their disease progressed in the same way as those who do not take any drug. The data can also be represented with respect to classification of patients. Alzheimer's disease is divided into four stages depending on the severity of symptoms. Stage 2 is called mild disease whereas stage 3 is called moderate disease. Mild patients responded better than patients with moderate Alzheimer's disease. In the mild subgroup, ADASCOG scores improved from 15.0 to 12.6. In the moderate subgroup, ADASCOG scores worsened from 25.7 to 30.1. Most importantly, simufilum was safe and well-tolerated. If we look at other drugs which are already approved by FDA and does little except helping symptoms and slightly slowing the progression of disease, they have serious side effects. A simufilum pill is excellent in this regard as it does not have any serious side effects. Currently, the stock price does not have any positive effect of the open-label data. However, we believe ongoing phase 3 trials will give ample evidence to FDA to approve the drug. Research from the NIH suggests that up to 50% of patients with AD may have mild AD, making them in the target group for simufilum. While this shrinks the potential market size for simufilum, the market size is still huge and will provide the opportunity for plenty of sales. The next upcoming catalyst will be the results of cognition maintenance study trial which are expected in third quarter of 2023. What's important is this will be the soonest placebo-controlled data released. It should give a good preview for the Phase 3 trial and could lead to a form of accelerated status. Additionally, investors can continue to expect updates on the two Phase 3 trials scheduled to be completed by the end of 2024, with over 800 of the needed 1750 patients enrolled. Biotech companies are known for volatility due to their value being based on so many binary catalysts. If an event goes one way or another, a stock will launch up or down large percentages. 
But based on current data, cassava sciences is a risk worth taking as the possibility of drug approval is increasing with every dataset the company is publishing. In the best case scenario, stock price can go 100 times the current price of below 30. We give this statement based on the global population which can be targeted with some and cassava sciences can become a $100 billion company of the future.